obviously disappointed in the loss to the school down the road. Uh, you know, we did some things well, uh, but didn't do enough to win the game. Uh, and credit to them on getting the will back. Uh, but I know our guys were eager to to get back to work. And, uh, you know, I, I told them, you the one thing about year one and year zero is that you don't get to determine how fast everyone grows. Uh, but what I can tell you is the, the culture is starting to take shape. And we need to keep failing to grow, failing to grow. I'm going to keep saying that. Uh, because I've done this long enough and been a part of rebuilds, and, and that's the that's the first part of it. It's having this first year where everybody's getting learning and growing and learning and growing and going through different things as a team and having to come together as a football team uh, to to make sure we get the result that we want. And I think you're seeing that right now. Uh, I thought in the game we started fast, we accelerated in the middle, uh, but we didn't finish strong. And uh, the one thing I think this game talked. Uh, taught us because we we keep talking about each game we're getting scars uh, and scars that we'll learn from, we'll wear, and it'll make us better someday down the road. And this game definitely showed us that when your time's called, you got to be ready to play. Uh, so we had a lot of guys step in, have to play this game because of injury, uh, and you know they probably didn't take as much advantage of their opportunity as they wanted to. And uh, what what I've seen them do though is is get back to work, have a great week of practice, and, and prepare themselves for this game, uh, which is really really important for the growth of our football team. But uh, I told our team this, we're exactly where we're supposed to be. And I, I truly believe that, uh, meaning that we're constantly learning and growing uh, and we're getting closer and more connected as a football team. Uh, and eventually the result will be what we want it to be. But disappointing loss for sure, uh, but we're still staying true to the process and uh, true to growing and learning each day. Coach, uh, just a quick snippet on uh, the opponent at hand in Bowling Green. Yeah, uh, BG's a really good football team. You can You can tell what they want to do. Uh, play hard-nosed, tough physical football, and that's what Scott is. And if you watch him, his teams play over the years, you've seen that. Uh, we got a chance to play him when I was at the University of Minnesota, uh, one of his football teams, and they play physical, they played aggressive, and uh, they took advantage of that opportunity, and I know they will uh, if you if you let them. So we got to come out, we got to play well. Uh, I think they've, they're led by their, their star running back, uh, uh, the Stewart kid. He, he's a good player. He's a big physical running back. He's what you want, in my opinion, in a running back. He runs behind his pads. He breaks tackles. The plays are never dead. Uh, it doesn't have to be blocked perfectly up front for him to create uh, explosive plays. Uh, we're going to have to do a good job swarming to the ball and, and swarming at him uh, to get him down. And, and then they've got a really good quarterback as well that, that's been there for some time, I believe, and, and uh, he does a good job of managing the game and, and uh, taking care of, of the ball. You know, So we got to be out, we got to be at our best. And uh, like I told our team, every game, it's yeah we're playing an opponent, but it's really about us. Uh, how much can we grow? How much can we learn and how much can we come together and play for each other and not just with each other? So another great opportunity to show that and show that growth. And uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. All right, let's open it up for questions. I've got a couple here from our those that couldn't make it. Uh, just talk a, briefly a little bit of, about the health. Obviously, some guys went down against Zippy, but guys like uh, Kali Saunders, Michael Limo didn't didn't dress. So. Um, just the kind of the injury front as we look into BG. Yep, uh, both of those guys are, are game time decisions. Uh, I think we took some we took some hits this game with our health, which is just part of football. And I think um, that if you if you look across the country, I think everybody's kind of figuring out who can handle it the best can win uh, late in the season. You know, so we've got to do a good job with that. Uh, you'll see some guys return that didn't play. Uh, there'll be a couple guys that'll be out for for the year uh, for sure, and I'm not going to hide that. Uh, you know, Krishan McCray will be out for the rest of the year uh, due to an injury, uh, but uh, he's been a great leader for our team in, in helping us uh, become better. And now he's a coach in coach mode, and, and then also Devin Nicholson will be out for the rest of the remainder of the season as well uh, due to to injuries to, uh, in that game. So. It is what it is. Uh, we got some guys that are more than capable who's got to step up and play now uh, and, and take advantage of the opportunity uh, that they have. And I think some of them grew without throughout that game they played in last week uh, and had a good week of practice. So we're, we're prepared. And uh, like I said, the, the talent drop-off is not is not the issue right now. It's the ability to, to have the mental reps to, to see pictures and, and react and, and those type of reps to play in, in a game. But uh, we're excited for this thing, and I always like to flip it, right, uh, with, with guys going down. It's a great new opportunity, opportunities for guys to step up and, and make plays for us. Well, let's go into the radio booth. Uh, Rob Polinski, any questions here for Coach? Hey, Coach, uh, with Chris Sean out, obviously he's a huge part of the passing game and the offense, and – the success that you've had. Um, are you looking for somebody specifically in that group to 
stand out? Do you look at the guys collectively and say, everybody's got to do a little bit more? Or what do you do to try to go about uh, making up for his loss? Yeah, you know, the biggest thing, I, you know, I think that he's such a special player that, that there's no one guy that can make up for his for his loss. Uh, you know, I, I think he's our best player on offense uh, for sure. And uh, him going down was a loss to our football team, not just as a football player, but he's also a voice and a leader. And, and I think one thing I felt on the sideline, I told our team, I said we got. I felt like we got deflated on the sideline when he went down, and and everybody kind of looked around like, okay, now who's going to make the play? And uh, we can't do that. There's more than enough capable guys out here to, to make plays and to take advantage of the opportunity. And I think that it's going to have to be by a group. Uh, the, the group's going to have to do it. And uh, we've got a lot of guys who don't have to make. They don't have to be anyone but themselves. When the ball's thrown their way, they got to make plays and uh, they got to take advantage of the opportunity that they got. So it's going to be more collective than one guy. Uh, we're going to roll a lot of guys in. Uh, at that receiver position to see who's kind of got the hot hand and, and, and call our offense the way Matty J calls it and uh, and see and see what happens. But uh, there's more than enough, I keep saying, there's more than enough talent there uh, to, to make plays. The guys just got to step up and do their job. I, I guess I would just follow up with uh, set the same thing on the other side of the ball with, with Devin being gone now for the remainder of the year. Do you look at maybe one specific linebacker to, to step up or do you kind of have to – uh, rethink how you're doing things and, and give a couple different guys a chance. How do you, how do you go about that? Yeah, defense is just a little bit different. Uh, you know, we're going to probably move some guys around, some pieces around to, to fill that that void because we, we've lost a lot at linebacker. You know, when you look at it, it's been a been a little bit of a tough year for that group. You know, when you talk about Kali being in and out with injury, you, you lost Caleb Johns, you now you've lost Devin. You know, there, there's a lot of guys there that have been kind of moving, moving in and out of that room a little bit. So, you got to see some younger guys have to play, some freshmen step in there and get their shot for sure. Uh, and then, you know, some guys that have never played are going to play, and that's what happened in the game. So we had some guys go in there that have been special teams guys, you know, a couple walk-ons that went in there that had to go play and, and, and be put in that pressure situation. And some handled it and some didn't handle it so well, you know. So uh, they'll learn, they'll grow, and uh, they'll have to take advantage of the opportunity. But they'll also see some things we do schematically to move some pieces there, you know, and, and make sure our best 11 are on the field as well. You know, if it's nickel packages, dime packages, and, and stuff like that, just to make sure we're, we're ready to rock and roll with our best 11 players. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Let's move over to the other guy in the booth and Tom Evans. Tom, any questions for Coach? Yeah, Coach, you, you, you certainly accelerated in the middle of this last week. And then the fourth quarter, the woes continue. Is that something that you can – work on in practice or is that just going to be a natural progression as you as you build things i think it's a natural progression as you build things and it's interesting i was talking to a good buddy of mine at the who's a head coach at the power five level who's in year one right now too and uh and he kind of made the 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 uh the analogy that once you get one thing done another thing presents itself in year one and you've got to just battle through it a little bit and every experience is a growth and there's a reason why coaches call this year zero uh, it literally is. You cannot look at your result because each week there's a new challenge and, and you've got to be able to adapt to it, uh, learn from it, and, and just keep getting your team better. So when you get to the off season, they have these scars that you can really drive home uh, and, and prepare them for next season. And it, I always tell you, it's not, it's not fair for the seniors uh, a little bit. You hope that they figure it out sooner than they do. Uh, but like, like you saw last game, we had been struggling to accelerate in the middle. And all I heard in the locker room at halftime is accelerate in the middle from every single player. Uh, holding each other accountable. And, and then I think at the end of the game, that fourth quarter the last about 10 minutes, you, you saw us kind of lose our focus a little bit and get maybe a little bit comfortable thinking we had it wrapped up. And then with the injuries on top of that, uh, another great learning experience. And those guys took it to heart. Uh, again, I, the great thing about this is the last two weeks of practice, when they have nothing really to play for in other people's mind, uh, the, the growth of our football team has been outstanding. It has been unbelievable. And I think you saw that happen last week, how we started the game and and we played at the beginning, and I'm expecting another big jump this week in how they go about and play uh, because they are practicing like their hair is on fire. And that's a great thing for the future of a football team because when you look at it, we've got a lot of guys returning, a lot of guys returning. And uh, and they take pride in returning together, uh, which is which is really cool to see as a coach because that means you're really starting to connect them to each other. And uh, like kind of like you said, it's just kind of another step that we've got to learn from and get better better with. Coach, it wouldn't be a press conference if I didn't ask you an offensive line question. Um, you know, it's, it's been pieces and parts, and, you know, Jim Toe goes down on last Wednesday night. Uh, how much does that affect your play calling or, or what you have the ability to do? Because 
you're shuffling people all over the place. You're starting right guard as your backup left tackle and you're starting, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, there, there's diff- so many different combinations that you have there. The great thing about that room is um, you talk about growth. I mean, you look at the last game, how those guys played. If you watch the, the coaches copy, uh, you saw some things that guys had never done. And, and that's the really cool thing about it. And guys even who stepped in and played, who played maybe earlier this season, but now playing again, like Tristan Bittner, uh, you saw him go out there and have a heck of a game. I mean, he played outstanding in, in that ball game. Uh, and Drew Page took another step. He, he had a really good game, and so did uh, Mr. Farrell, uh, the right guard. He had a good game. So you see that group growing and getting more comfortable, and, like, it's it's all at the right time to me uh, as we as we start to look at the conclusion of our season. Uh, they're going to have a lot of clay to build in the offseason. And Jim Toe went down. Another guy's got to step up. Uh, and we'll move some pieces there to get a guy, um, move, move a guy to tackle maybe, and bring another guy in at guard to get our best five on the on the field. But I am very encouraged with what Coach Lineover is building in that room, and, and even the way they're practicing right now. It, it is physical. It is it's gritty. Uh, it is full speed all time Mach one, and uh, they're literally trying to take people's heads off. And before they were trying to just learn and figure out what we were doing, now they're starting to get a, a hold of it and make it their own, uh, which is really cool to see. Thanks, Coach. Yep. All right, Coach, that's the questions we got from uh, our radio booth as well as our virtual gallery. Any final thoughts as we get ready for Wednesday? Nope. Uh, excited about the, the game this week and another rivalry game, and hopefully we can uh, do a good job and come out here and change our best. So uh, go Flashes and King Grit. Thank you.